Welcome. In this lecture, we will talk about National Health Mission, history, evolution of National Health Mission and the various components. So to begin with, National Health Mission has primarily two components. We call it as the rural part and the urban part. Now, rural National Health Mission, rural, actually aims to provide quality healthcare facility to people living in rural areas, areas particularly the vulnerable population. And this under the empowered action group as well as the northeast states including uh, along with northeast states we have jammu kashmir and himachal pradesh which have been special focus for this national rural health mission right now what are the primary objectives providing nutrition social and gender equality Coming on to the urban section. So we have National Urban Health Mission. Now this mission aims to improve the health status of the people living in the urban area and provide them with a primary health care facility. For every area with a population of more than 50,000, a urban primary health center would be established and this would continue under the National Rural Health Mission as well for the PHC. But the criteria for having the PHC would be different for a rural area as well as an urban area. Now, in this lecture, our focus would be to understand how it evolved, the history of it and the RMNCHA that is Reproductive Maternal Newborn Child Health and Adolescent Program. So we would be focusing on each of these one by one as we proceed. So this idea was laid down in 2005. The idea of National Health Mission was initially incorporated only in the form of Rural Health Mission, right? It was not meant for the urban areas. However, in 2013, the urban component as a sub-mission of the National Health Mission was released. And the rural component, as I primarily mentioned, focused on the vulnerable sections of the society and the special focus group, which is the Northeast states, Jammu Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh. Now. Again, the reproductive, maternal, neonatal, child and adolescent health is one of the primary components. So it was initially called as RMNCH plus A, right? And later on A became part of it. So adolescent was part of it. Along with that, it also focused on non-communicable diseases. It also focused on communicable diseases. The idea is to provide equitable healthcare facility affordable healthcare facility and also quality healthcare facility right so all these components have been important and health delivery systems have been enhanced for the same purpose now coming on to uh, each of the missions and their financing components so be it the rural or the urban there are six financing components the first is the rch flexi pool for the urban, the flexi pool, for communicable, for non communicable. Uh, this is specifically for rural. So you can say one for rural, one for urban, one for communicable, one for non communicable. Uh, then you have for infrastructure and family welfare. So there are six different components under which the financing of the National Health Mission would take place. The next we need to understand is the objectives that were laid down under the Health Mission. So the outcomes of the National Health Mission were laid down in the 12th plan and these were synonymous to the 11th plan but were part of the overall global mission. Now, it was based on the existing capacities of the state uh, and the context in which it was brought. The target for the communicable and the non-communicable diseases was also defined. So what were the goals? The first was to reduce the maternal mortality rate to 1 per 1000 life birth to reduce the infant mortality to 25 per 1000 life birth. Now, this is a very important figure that we need to understand and we will see over the period of time how there has been a significant reduction in infant mortality and maternal mortality. Reducing the total fertility rate to 2.1. Now, this is called as the replacement rate. Now, if this rate is very high, that means there is, has been a very steep growth in the population. So the idea to reduce the total fertility rate is to bring a, a relatively um, stabilization, we could say, for the population growth, right? 
uh, reduction of anemia in women in the age group of 15 to 49 years, reducing the morbidity and the uh, mortality because of non-communicable or communicable diseases or any emerging disease that could be seen. Healthcare is one of the major segments where a lot of money is spent. So how much out of pocket is spent by an individual? Out of pocket means the expenditure which is not covered by the insurance and the person has to pay it up front. So that expense should be reduced significantly because that should not become a burden for any um, any uh, family right the next is reduction of the deaths and mortality by tuberculosis by half so let's say if it was 100 it has to be brought down to 50 similarly the prevalence of leprosy should be reduced to less than one per 10,000 cases so a very high target to be uh, identified for leprosy and the incidence of zero for all districts is the objective annual malaria incidence to be less than one per thousand less than one for micro microphylaresis in all the districts and kala azar to be eliminated by 2015 less than per uh, less than one per 10,000 case, cases now leprosy and kala azar the reduction for these two have been significant really important right now if we look on to the growth rates and the changes from 1951 till 2013 the latest data available as per the um, the census we have identified, right? So the crude, crude birth rate reduced drastically from 40.8 to 21, which is significantly good, indicating that our population is now towards a stabilization phase. Crude death rate reducing from 25.1 to 7, nearly threefold reduction indicates a very good health infrastructure and health facilities development. Total fertility rate per person per women was 6 which has been reduced to 2.3 and we target it for 2.1 which is a significantly good figure because with 2.6 with 6.0 we have seen a boom in our population explosion right maternal mortality was very high somewhere around 437 which has been reduced to 1 67 as per the sample registrar survey reports which is a significantly good figure and the maternal mortality is per lack of population infant mortality to be reduced from 146 to 40 and further as we have seen the goal targets to 25 so it has already gone till 40 and we need to reduce it further the life expectancy was 55 years which has been increased to 67 years which is again a good figure and as we have seen with the reduction in the crude death rate definitely the life expectancies ought to increase so if there is a reduction in the death rate that means the longevity of the life is getting better now what are the components there are three important components that we would cite for the national health mission first is strengthening the system of health infrastructure the RMNCH plus A, reproductive maternal neonatal child uh, health plus adolescent health, which was an important part of it, communicable and non-communicable diseases to be taken into account. And five main approaches, which were part of the, uh, the rural mission. First is communitized, that means hospital management, providing grants to the community, the funds and the decentralization. Better management through capacity building, that is for block level, district level, a continuous skill development, monitoring the progress, that is independent monitoring at the block and the district level, innovation in HRM, that is 24-7 emergencies, IOSH, PHC, 24-7 medical nursing staff, medical emergency at community.